I've been reviewing a lot of Amazon tools of late, trying to double check my software stack. There's so much technology that has come out recently, as well as many longstanding tools have really upped their game over the last year, especially with all of the e-commerce buzz and Amazon buzz that we've experienced since the pandemic. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. I'm going to do a short demonstration of a tool called Merchant Spring in this video. Uh, it's an analytics-based tool, and if you're curious about you know, whether you should be using a more broader tool that has everything from analytics to PPC management versus maybe getting an additional tool to hyper-focus just on analytics, this is something you may want to look at. So Merchant Spring is based out of uh, Melbourne, Australia. So for the Aussies out there, you may want to check it out just purely because they might cater more to your particular needs than, say, a U.S.-based software. Sometimes localizing uh, software will get you additional benefits, especially if you're on the Australian Amazon platform. One of the things I really like about Merchant Spring is just the sheer volume of marketplace connections. You go over to the add a store location, you've got your core, your eBay, your Amazon, Walmart, and Shopify. But if you look down this uh, marketplace list, it's quite extensive. There are so many marketplaces I've literally never even heard about in this list, including things in the Asia Pacific area. Again, I'm guessing maybe some Australians will know some of these, but I will not. Europe, as well as your classic global and North American ones, pepper in a couple in the Middle East, and even South America. So pretty extensive list of marketplaces to connect. And why this might matter is because when you have so many different international marketplaces, you need a single point to go in there and see how everything is doing. Because you wouldn't want to log into 17 different portals to find out the answer to something that should be available in five seconds. This platform is built to answer that kind of question. While you can go to a specific store and drill down by selecting something in the drop down, you can change your currencies, not really aware of many tools focused on currency, and you can select your typical things like date range and go through and analyze everything. Want to know who your top sellers are? This is kind of a more common feature I'd expect in most platforms, uh, but they also have category analysis even some order fulfillment aspects, which is something I'd see in more of a ship station or sell bright, and then some item specifics to see how things are doing across listings. Uh, they also have some account health checks beyond just the typical sales insights to see like what everything is doing uh, and how maybe some of your platforms are, are holding up. Maybe you've got a suspension on an account. Well, if you check this particular analytics tool first thing in the morning, you would be alerted very quickly. So sales by product, top sellers, worst sellers, out of stocks, marketplace listings, you got quality reports. Hey, if you want to look and see how long all of your titles are doing compared against the typical norms for each of those platforms, do they have all of the core attributes filled in? Maybe you need to spend more time on your item specifics. Maybe your platform and your number of SKUs has gotten a little out of hand, well, this is the sort of tool that could help you diagnose some of those problems. Uh, everything from HTTPS compliance, I'm guessing they probably even have some eBay uh, template uh, monitoring as well. Maybe you got like some extra links you copied over when you copied the A-plus content, et cetera, from Amazon into eBay. One of the nice things about having a data analytics tool is it can often can suggest like, where do I start? Got a lot of data, what do I do first? So on the right hand side here, you can see you can improve your top listing specifically and focus there first. Want to know where your category is compared to every other category you have in your roster? In here, you can see the number of correct, number of custom values and potentially missing values. So on this particular list here, maybe the security and floodlights haven't got as much attention as say something that's a little bit more filled in like the USB cables on this particular demo account. And with most of my cold reviews, I do try and break the tool as quickly as possible. Not intentionally, it just kind of happens. You'll see here I'm clicking through and none of these things are changing over. Could just be the demo account, not gonna blame them. Also on the video, you have the ability to do some marketing analysis. 
with campaigns, ad groups, products, and keywords also a part of the software package. Want to know if you have an overdue order in any of your platforms? Again, another analytics benefits can check all that out across all accounts in less than five seconds. For the drop shippers out there, you may also appreciate the buy box trend uh, and see how you're trending with all of these SKUs that you manage. So if you're interested in testing them out, they do have a free seven-day trial. Just head over to merchantspring.io. I am not affiliated with this company in any shape or form. Just was curious checking out my software stack to see how other tools manage and do their thing uh, and see if I need to add anything additional to my portfolio. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. If you want to see other tool reviews, click on this playlist here. And if you have any Amazon questions, even if it's off topic, has nothing to do with the software tool, leave it in the comment section. I will guide you to one of my other 600 plus videos that probably answer your question.